scientists we are not ready for the devastation caused by the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Yellowstone is one of the supervolcanoes in the world that scientists have been warning for years that it will erupt too late. Will the Yellowstone volcano erupt in our lifetime? That's the question volcanologists have been asking in recent decades. Over the past few years, new insights into how the volcano's magma chamber reservoir works have been published, all based on seismic data collected from seismometers installed around the caldera in 2020. These findings are important for understanding exactly what is happening beneath the surface and whether eruptions or other seismic activity may occur. However, many questions remain, and it's worth noting that no matter how the testing is done, none of it can mitigate the damage caused by a volcanic eruption. As a result, some scientists say the world is not yet ready for the explosion of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past few million years, the last eruption being 1,000 times larger than Mount St. Helens' devastating event in 1980. The final eruption was so large that it created a large depression known as a caldera, measuring 55 kilometers long and 80 kilometers wide. Scientists believe that eruptions at this location have occurred a long time ago and the last eruption is estimated to have occurred 640,000 years ago. Based on records, the average distance between each eruption is around 660,000 years. This is a theme explored in the Smithsonian Channel documentary. Yellowstone supervolcano, in which scientists discuss a possible eruption and what would happen after. Geologist Jake Lowenstern says he's tired of Yellowstone's uncertainty, largely because of its size and complex nature. Natural systems can throw us curveballs, he said. A lot of things can happen without us being ready to face them. Just below the caldera is a magma chamber fed by a hot semi-liquid plume that is 465 miles long. Even though the chamber mostly contains solid rock, it has the potential to melt completely which could eventually penetrate the Earth's surface. Currently, magma is estimated to rise through the plume and into the magma chamber at a rate of about 2 inches per year. When the plume starts to melt and move upwards, this is when scientists get worried 